Hi everybody and welcome to Vanessa My Life My Journey. I am here today to show you guys how I fry shrimp and how I fry fried lobster tails. So if you want to know how to fry your shrimp or fry your fried lobster tails, then keep watching. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you leave your comments in the comment bar below. Make sure you Press the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell, and be sure to come back for another video. So you guys, I love fried lobster tail. I recently discovered fried lobster tail and I've been frying them ever since. So I want to share with you a quick and easy recipe. The first thing you want to do is make sure that you clean your shrimp and clean your fried lobster tails so that's what I'm gonna do here I got these uh, shrimp and these fried I mean the shrimp and lobster tails from Costco uh, in a package so I got like a big bulk deal so I am going to cut the lobster tails straight down the middle remove any of the dead stuff that's not supposed to be there and I'm going to do the same thing with the shrimp and then I will be rinsing them off and getting them ready uh, to season. The next thing I'm going to put them in a flat uh, tray or container so you guys can see me seasoning seasoning ugh, I can't speak seasoning seasoning them and you're going to use your favorite seasoning. Uh, you can use a mixture of seasoning or you can just use whatever seasoning you like. I have this Cajun seasoning from Kroger. It's a Kroger brand seasoning and I love it. It has a nice blend of different seasonings in it. So I'm going to put some of that on it. And then after that, I'm going to take two eggs and I'm just going to, this is not, you know, let me tell y'all something. If you don't get your hands dirty when you cook, you ain't cooking. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I'm going to take these two eggs and crack them up inside the uh, shrimp and the lobster tail. And then I'm just going to make sure I'm getting that all over the shrimp and the lobster. The next thing you want to do is make sure that the seasonings and the egg is all mixed in on every single part of the lobster and the shrimp. Whatever kind of batter you're going to use, you can use a flour batter, you can use a cornmeal batter, you can use a flour and cornmeal batter mixture. Whatever the mixture is going, you're going to use, you can use like a, a seafood fry mix whatever type of mixture you're going to use you want to take that put it inside a bag or a container and you want to make sure that you uh, lightly batter or make sure that the batter is completely over whatever it is you're frying if it's lobster or shrimp or fish or whatever uh, there is a such thing as a double batter you're going to batter everything up and then you're going to take it and dip it back into your egg again and then dip it back into your batter content again that's called a double batter so that's what I'm going to do with my lobster tails today I'm I'm going to do a double batter and a double batter just pretty much makes it more crunchier so once I get everything battered then I am going to put some cooking oil on and I'm gonna let my cooking oil get pretty hot before I decide to uh, put it put my uh, shrimp and my lobster tail inside the cooking oil. What I like to do is let my cooking oil get hot and then before I add my whatever I'm gonna fry in it, I like to lure it so that way as soon as you put your uh, your your food inside of the batter, it's not browning immediately because your fire is too high. So once I let everything get hot enough, I like to lure it down to like a three or a four or even a five and uh, you know let everything get adjusted and then I like to add whatever I'm gonna add in there so as you can see I'm going to add in my lobsters and my lobster tails and I'm gonna leave those in there until they get golden brown or lightly browned 
whatever the consistency you want in your fry if you want a lighter uh, fry then you're gonna lower your heat and leave it in there longer uh, and if you want a darker fry you're just gonna leave it in there longer until it gets you know the consistency that you want so I'm gonna do that and then after I do, do that then I'm gonna add in my shrimp and the same thing with the shrimp I am going to leave them in there until they get the color and the consistency that I want them to be you don't want to overcook them so you want to make sure that your uh, cooking oil and your grease is not too high and after that you guys voila dinner is served Add whatever side items that you want to add to this delicious meal let me know in the comment bar below if you try this if you've ever had fried lobster tail before and if you try this recipe make sure you let me know thank you guys so much for watching and tuning in be sure to follow me on instagram and again make sure you give the video a thumbs up leave your comments below don't forget to subscribe to the channel turn on the notification bell and come back for another video thanks for watching bye now enjoy <laughs>